raining, but it should be snowing. It's pretty cold. Yeah, what's going on today? Apparently we might be going into a, like a lockdown. What is this? This one says full lockdown in Vancouver with the health officers call. Mayor says this quote was actually interesting, I thought, and it got me thinking a little bit, because it says here, we all just follow the orders of provincial health officer, Dr. Bonnie Henry, as well with our local health officers, Chief Medical Health Officer, Vancouver Coastal Health, Dr. Patricia Daly here. And we're letting the science dictate the policy, said Stewart to the host, Stephen Quinn, on CBC's The Early Edition. Why that was kind of interesting, because at this point, I'm actually kind of surprised they wouldn't know the best way to handle all of this. And points that I've been hearing is valid. One thing is to shut everything down, I guess you could say for health reasons of this virus. How about everything else actually? Destroying more businesses, people potentially having mental illness for having to be locked down. Once again, it's just so much conflicting information on what is actually the best way to go about this. I think fundamentally though, you have to find a way to allow healthy people who can say, I guess you could say, tolerate the virus to try to get on with life and they will be the ones to move the economy and stuff around. If that's what you want to say, let them get back to work and for the most vulnerable, find a way to protect them. There has to be a balance there, in my opinion. And I guess some interesting tech stuff. How's this one titled? Drone taxi and bags of rice take flight in South Korea. A drone taxi and a drone delivery were tested in South Korea's capital yesterday as the country moves closer to launching unmanned air vehicles by 2025. That's kind of an interesting date because that's the same milestone that they're hoping to accomplish here, like in Vancouver with the drones as well. The event near Seoul's Han River offered a glimpse into the future and what flying vehicles might look like in a densely populated city. South Korea is investing around 24.5 billion won through 2022 to develop the so-called K-Drone system. The drone itself is that one I've been seeing everywhere, that Ehong one. I believe that's the same one that's supposed to be flying around the Quebec area in Canada. I guess this company is really storming ahead with the transportation drones, huh? And how about a hydrogen drone? This one says TU Delft Maritime hydrogen drone flies longer and greener. This one looked kind of crazy. It looked a little unstable actually just from some of the videos, but I guess it's kind of a hybrid. It says a drone that can fly sustainably for long distance over land and water and can land almost anywhere will be able to serve a wide range of applications. There are already drones that fly using green hydrogen, but they either fly very slow or cannot land vertically. That's why researchers TU Delft together with the Royal Netherlands Navy and Netherlands Coast Guard developed a hydrogen powered drone that is capable of vertical takeoff and landing, while also being able to fly horizontally efficiently for several hours, much like an aircraft. The drone uses a combination of hydrogen and batteries as its power source. The first successful tests were held in one of the most challenging scenarios, from a ship sailing on the open seas. This also brings maritime applications within reach and represents a new step in making aviation more sustainable. Yeah, so you can kind of see it again, it flying around from the ship and then back down. I guess that's kind of cool, trying to be as efficient as possible once it's in the air. Although again, some of the landing and stuff like that, it looked a little unstable. It could be just because it's so lightweight, but it's kind of cool to see that hybrid technology in place. Is 2025 going to be the year of the passenger drones for the regular person, I guess you could say. Obviously, I don't expect people to be using this like a car. <laughs> It'd be way too expensive, plus we don't really have I guess you could say the system in place to enable stuff like that. But yeah, it's coming really fast.
Looks like the rain's not stopping today. Huh, I guess it's time for the archive. Alright, see you guys later.